The national inflation rate now at 8.5 percent, the highest in more than a generation. The economy is shrinking with the gross dom domestic product falling 1.4 percent last month. You know that. And if it happens two quarters in a row, we'll call that a recession. Let's hope it doesn't. Gas prices are sky high, above $4 a gallon all over the country now. And voters are taking notice. A new poll finds most of those surveyed are concerned about the higher cost of living. The president seems to think it is a laughing matter. Maybe he got together with the vice president and they chuckled and practiced. <laughs> anyway, just watch his reaction to Trevor Noah as he told inflation jokes at the White House Correspondents' Dinner Saturday night. These people have been so hard on you, which I don't get. I really don't. You know, I think ever since you've come into office, things are really looking up. You know, gas is up, rent is up, food is up, <laughs> everything. Joey Jones, your reaction? <laughs> yeah, funny, I guess. I mean, I mean, listen, we know what to expect from this. I was in town for this, actually, but I was there with a different group of VIPs for a group of wounded veterans uh, celebrating a nonprofit. So that's my, um, that was my night. But I'll tell you, I don't mind everyone getting together and celebrating the fact that we have a we have a press corps and we have this first amendment right where we can challenge the president Kaylee you know every single day and that's really what that dinner should be about it is a time to hit pause and celebrate that fact but I, I'm sitting here in the in the lobby of a hotel with a lot of people around me that are about to go to that event I'm going to a different event and I'm thinking to myself there are either a bunch of people in this room that truly hate each other and are pretending tonight not to or there are a bunch of people in this room that pretend every day to hate each other, but tonight mm. you're saying they actually don't. That's what bothers me about that entire event. And really just the state of conversation in this country. You know what it screamed to me? He's out of touch. Yes. Yet again. Because no matter what, if you are in touch with people who are suffering, you don't laugh and hee-haw and, and clap and all of that at that moment. You have a choice. Yes, exactly. Look, in that press briefing room, it is a conversation among friends. That's what it is. So what they did is they took the conversation among friends, put it in a swanky hotel and added dinner. That's what that was. <laughs> and to watch the president sit there and not just laugh, Harris, it was a cackle cackling yeah. at the American people. He goes on Air Force One where he has his really nice fancy dinners. They are very good in lunches. <laughs> good job of the Air Force One crew on that one. But he does that. Then he goes to Delaware nearly every weekend. Then he goes to his dinner with his friends and he cackles at you. He cackles at your problems. The 94% of people who are concerned are angry. And he should be very careful when you look at the polling, that same poll, Republicans have a 19% advantage when it comes to the number one yeah. issue for Americans, and he should have seen this coming. His private pollster, according to the New York Times, had been warning him on immigration, on inflation, but he just simply didn't listen, and he's still not listening, judging by the cackle. And I want to get to this, because he, he found a few things funny, the president, because he had his own remarks, too. Um, at one point, and I mean, maybe this is because he thinks Pete Buttigieg is going to run for president, right, in 2024. <laughs> um, Biden making fun of Pete Buttigieg and his age, I guess? Watch. Everyone at the White House is so excited. I told my grandkids and Pete Buttigieg they could stay up late and watch this show tonight. <laughs> Emily. <laughs> right. Um, I was there at that dinner, and I think I had more of a holistic experience. I think, you know, it's definitely easy to see clips or read blurbs and sort of analyze um, in that siloed fashion. I, I hear what you guys are saying, and yes, I think that given these really sensitive topics, um, I wished I had seen a little bit more austerity and appropriate decorum from the president without him cackling at everything. But I will say that he had that exact same reaction to every joke. And I wonder, I think it's probably hard to receive a joke about you. What do you do? I had those same questions going into it. I mean, like the it. Hunter Biden what joke. Do I he didn't do laugh at that. makes a joke. Do I laugh? True. Do I do I be tight-lipped? I'm not sure. Um, so I just want to make sure that I extend a little bit of grace to him while absolutely acknowledging the suffering of many Americans, millions of Americans under his watch. And I think to your point about it sort of belying perhaps the tension in this industry or among individuals, it really reinforced to me how important our jobs here are at Fox, how seriously we take our roles, how committed we are to diversity of thought, to accuracy of information, to the truth. I was so proud to be at that, event, at that event, at that dinner, representing us because I truly believe with all my heart that I'm representing Americans. I'm representing 
all of those people who watch us day in and day out, who don't have this platform, but who feel the same way that we do, which is that they work hard day in and day out to put food on their table, to prioritize their family and their faith and their liberties under this flag. And so um, there were times when I left and there were times that I didn't, but I was in there, uh, frankly, with an optimistic point of view, a gratitude to be there, uh, but ultimately a commitment to doing our job here every day. I, I love the grace that you're extending him, but with all due respect, he didn't laugh at the Hunter Biden joke. In fact, when Trevor knew it, Trevor Noah then leaned in on using your name to move up. Yeah, the camera leaned in on him, mm -hmm. and he was not even smiling. So, I well, mean, reality does set in, yeah. and I just want to know why it doesn't set in when it, when it comes to American suffering. Let me get to this, Cheryl, and I'll yeah. come to you. According to the new ABC News Washington Post poll, Americans trust Republicans to better handle crime, 47% to Democrats, 35%. Republicans to better handle the economy, this is key. This is what Kaylee was getting to. 50% to Democrats, 36%. Republicans to better handle inflation, 50% to Democrats, 31%. That is dire. Your cohort at Fox Business just told me last hour, this doesn't change in six months. No, not at all. I mean, and, and they know that. And, and unfortunately, you know, we're reading now reports that Biden was warned that the economy and in particular inflation was going to be a problem for him and for the Democrats coming up in the midterms of 2022. And they haven't addressed it. Guess where I spent my weekend? Down in Texas. Mm. And guess what we talked about? Diesel prices, gas prices. Unreal. The border. Yeah. You know, how about reality? You know what? Uh, I was with my family and they had no idea that there was a, a dinner going on and they could care less. I mean, it's it's what real Americans are talking about right now, to your point. And, and I am I'm so glad to work for a place like Fox that talks about this the because stuff. that is the true story. But look, I mean, all of the things that, the, that most Americans are seeing, maybe not the elite in Washington there, but most Americans are seeing their grocery prices are jumping and they're going to go up higher. Uh, they are seeing the gas prices. Those are going to go up higher. Harris, it's going to get worse. Let's talk about diesel because yeah. diesel means that every truck that drops off something for you to have in your house um, just got more expensive. And, and, and outside of the realm of just basic inflation, it's because diesel in my little town is up above seven. Yep. And that just happened. Like, that happened in just the last few days. Well, it's mm -hmm. probably the only person on the couch that drives a diesel every my day. Is you? Okay. Uh, it's, <laughs> above, it, it's above $5 most days in Georgia. I mean, it's not really? cheap anywhere. And that's the problem. That We talk about President Trump and President Biden. A lot of what President Trump was criticized for from the left had to do with how it made people feel. What President Biden's getting criticized for is things, no matter how you feel, you live every day. Yes. Your pocketbook comes out no matter what your opinions are. Mm. And that's why so many Democrats are looking at President Biden like, what, what are you doing? Maybe the Republicans have an answer. I you love don't. the way you put that. Your pocketbooks come out. <laughs> yeah, no. well, you know, or wallet. You know, yeah, yeah. Wallet. I mean, no matter what, no matter what you believe. <laughs> I mean, we spend, it's all green. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you have less power in that green, we all feel it. That's exactly Definitely. right.